on, baby. Work the left into La Panza. Into La Panza. Come on, baby. Into La Panza. Again. Wait till we get the bill for sparring, partner. Oh, beautiful, huh? Come on, baby. Come on. Baby, we got the felt in our hands. A week from today, I will be managing the new lightweight champion of the world. You're talking like a press agent, Jimmy. I am your press agent and your manager, too. I'm hungry. You got angle work. You see our boy? Didn't he do it? Wasn't he wonderful? He made a monkey out. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I mean, he made a bum out of it. Excuse me. Would you excuse me? Tanya! Depot. John! Depot. Last night you were in Washington. Well, I finished my business early. Tanya, you're more beautiful than ever. What a lucky guy. Yeah, I know. I meant me to be getting a sister in law like this. Tipo, it is good to see you. I've been reading all about your big fight. Afterwards, you can still come to the wedding, can't you? In New Midi? Three weeks from today. Oh, that might be a little difficult. I want you to meet a couple of friends of mine. This is Jimmy Purcell, my business manager. This is Tanya, my brother's fiance. It's a pleasure, I'm sure. How do you do? And this is Tex Shandy, who's in charge of my car and my diet and losing bets at the racetrack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and his winners, too. Howdy. Hello. Uh, of course, Rami. Your Honor, Rami. You have taken good care of my brother. Do you not miss Numiti, Rami? Yes, but if I'm in Numiti, I miss Tipo. <laughs> this is my brother, John. I never shook hands with a king before. Say, what do I call you, your majesty or your highness? Just John. In Numitian, that is to honor. Oh, I'll settle for John. Hi. <laughs> I've always wanted to meet the rest of Tipo's team. Uh, you all met during the war, didn't you? Oh, yes, in boot camp in San Diego. And you fought the war together? Well, not exactly. I got shipped out, but the boys had a little trouble getting overseas. You see, Jimmy was a, such a good shot, they made an instructor out of him. Well, I, I was brought up with guns. I, ever since I was a little shaver, I could remember my old man picking me up and hugging me. I could always feel his rod in his shoulder holster. Your father was a police officer. Well, he was personally acquainted with the cops, you know. Uh, Jimmy, will you make him a drink, huh? Oh, sure. No, 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 thank no, you. Thanks. Well, I guess you folks want to talk, huh? We'll breeze along. Come on, Tex. Bye. Sure glad to have met you. Tanya, how do you like the United States? Wonderful. I got lost four times in Washington. And five times in New York. Well, tonight we'll get lost in Hollywood. I'm sorry, but tonight we'll leave by plane for Manila. We take a ship from there for Numiti. But you got here a week ago. Time is running out, Tipo. There's trouble in our homeland. What kind of trouble? Well, Lumiti is no longer just a small island in the South China Seas. It's a stepping stone between Asia and the Philippines. And if another war comes, well, we cannot escape it. Well, what can you mean it do? We're just a small island of peaceful people. Tipo, the United States has offered us a treaty with which to help us defend ourselves. They'll help us build roads, an airstrip, a pass through the reef, a harbor for large ships. Isn't it wonderful? In peace or war, these things will benefit our people. But there are some in Numidi who don't want the treaty. But why? Because it will make our people strong and prosperous. Communism cannot take root where this is so. You're a king now. You can lead our people. Yes, but I need help. That's why I came here. I want you to come back with me. John. I'll do anything I can to help you and our country. But I'm a prize fighter. You are a Numician. You are my brother. John, you were educated, so you make a good ruler for our country. When I came to the United States, I went from a college boxing team into a professional fight camp. It's all I know.
You remember this? Yes. We were kids. It took father a long time to carve that tiki. I remember when he split it and gave us each half. He hoped someday we would both carry on his work. Together we could do many things for our people. Please, go back with me. I'm sorry, John. I'm not a statesman or a politician. I'm not even a good businessman. Ask Jimmy. Don't you understand? I'd just be in your way. You see, I told you it'd be difficult. You should have just invited him to the wedding, and then we could have kept him there. <laughs> but perhaps Tipo is right. This is his world. John, maybe I can help you from here somehow. Perhaps you can. Well, we're going to have to be leaving now. But dinner! We're eating on the plane. You will come and see us in Numiti soon. On my first vacation after the fight. We'll expect you then. Goodbye, Tan. Goodbye. Goodbye, John. People. And good luck. Good luck in your fight. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt our newscast to bring you the following dispatch. The king of Numiti is dead. A mystery bullet late this afternoon struck down and fatally wounded Tuana Taru, youthful ruler of the island of Numiti, as he was leaving the training camp of his brother Tipo, contender for the world's lightweight championship. The king, en route home after reportedly conferring with State Department officials in Washington, died in his brother's arms. The identity of his assailant and the reason for the fatal attack were not known. Inspector Michael Reardon of Homicide declared there was no indication that robbery was the motive. And now, returning to our feature story. Can't you play something else? Yes. Why don't you let feet go where heart say? What are you talking about? You king of Numiti now. No? I'm abdicating. A ab... A abdicating? Is this good or bad? It means our people will elect another king. You think your brother wants that? And your father? You make good king, Tipo. All I want to do is find out who killed my brother. Maybe if we go home, we find out. Huh? Thanks, Rami. Here am I. Here am I. We're going home, Junior. Where's Tipo? Oh. 
Hey, what gives around here? What's the matter with Rami? He's got that ukulele smoking. Ain't that a suitcase? Yes. Grab a chair. I have news for you. I'm going back to New Midi. Well, that's nice. Huh? You shouldn't even joke about something like that. It's no joke. What about the fight? It's not important now. You mean we're busting up? Until I get the job done, my brother started. Well, I can always go back in the Marine Corps. I got news for you, they won't have you. They raised the IQ. Three years on the cauliflower circuit. Prelims, semi-wind-ups, main events, all for a shot at the title and then this. It isn't easy for me. It's the only thing in the world that would split up our team. We, uh, we had a couple of close calls on account of dames. Well, I guess if it's gotta be, it's gotta be. I see Junior's going with you, huh? Yes. We'll be seeing you, boy, before you shove off. Come on, Tex. Oh, um, don't take any wooden coconuts. Come on. Hey, what are you so happy about? We go home. We go home. Jimmy, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Look around, get me a new boy. What about you? Owls of Montezuma, here I come. Tipo got big job. Maybe too big. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! yeah! Well, when do we leave? Three mosquitoes fly again. We're going with you, boy. Fellas, I appreciate it. But this is my problem. What do you know about budgets, taxes, high finance? Well, that's right up my alley. <laughs> Missed going overseas with you last time, boy. And we ain't gonna miss twice. What are you guys waiting for? Well, what are we doing? Let's go. When do we leave? Say, huh? get your own stuff packed. What do you mean we wear the same clothes? Junior took my slack. Hey, Jimmy. Yeah? What will you tell the papers? I'll tell them we got jungle fever. Come on, we got work to do, wouldn't you? Good evening. This is Bill Fenton bringing you the feature news story of today. Your newspapers carried the headlines, Tipo Rand fight canceled. But in back of those headlines is the real story. A young man is losing the chance of a lifetime because of his devotion to his country and his people. That young man is Tipo, favored contender for the lightweight championship of the world. He's throwing it all away because he's going home. And home is Numiti, a tiny island off the coast of Indochina, trouble spot in the war-torn, blackening skies of Asia where Tipo is needed for a bigger fight, a fight to carry on for his brother, Numiti's assassinated king. It'll be a tough fight, and he'll be outweighed. So good luck, Tipo, and may you win by a KO in the first round. Now we'll be back in a moment with another story behind the headlines for you. Tanya, come in. I, I just came to say goodbye. Is there any news? Have the police found out anything? No. But it wasn't robbery. Then why? That's what I'm going to find out. I'm going back to Nimiti. But, but the championship fight. It'll have to wait. Tipo, I'm so proud of you. If there's anything I can do, if I can help you, for your brother's sake, you have only to ask. We're leaving tomorrow. Jimmy, Tex, and myself. I have a ticket on tomorrow's plane. Then we'll be going home together. Wonderful.
wonderful breakfast. Thank you. Good morning. Did you get a good sleep? Yeah, man. What a dream. That's where I saw her. What are you talking about? I woke up once during the night. I guess I must have been looking out the window because all I could see was clouds. I thought I was dead. And then I saw her. I figured she was an angel. You didn't see nothing. You should have heard him last night, or did you? All night. This must be your first flight. Yes, ma'am. Uh, my pappy always used to say human beings ought to stay on terror firmer. The more firmer, the less terror. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know why you left Texas now. Look, uh, comic, push that button for the angel. Will you need some coffee, huh? You better hurry. We'll be in Honolulu in 20 minutes. This is a big adventure for them, and for you. Yes, funny. It seems only yesterday I put away my uniform. I thought the fight was over. But it was. No. That's what I wanted to believe. I wanted to forget that I ever hated anybody, or that anybody ever hated me. It is a nice word, killing people. Maybe it's unnecessary. Perhaps by, by talking a little, by giving a little, by minding one's own business. Yes, that's what I thought. And that's where I was wrong. You can't talk a little to a gangster. You don't dare give a little to bully. And the right of every man in the world to freedom and happiness. And human dignity is the business of his brother. But there's a middle ground, compromise. Sometimes I wondered if, if John wasn't too, too impetuous. No, Tanya. John knew what he was doing. In Midi, our homeland is, is very close to Asia. We're a long way from America, and perhaps from the things she believes in. One must consider the sphere of influence. Sphere of influence? That's what the Japs said before they landed in China. And the Reds talked about Korea the same way. You've been reading too much. John used to teach me many political phrases. You're too lovely to talk about politics, Tanya. Look, the island. Diamond head. Look at the clouds hanging over the pally. All gone if we didn't make it. Wait till I write my pappy. Hey, can you see the hula girls? <laughs> no, Jimmy. But there is Pearl Harbor. that pilot found this little piece of land in the middle of all this water. Yeah, this was his lucky day. Boy, I can hardly wait to get down there. The land or the wiki-wacky. What's that? I don't know. I just say these things, wiki-wacky. Wiki from the Latin, la wacky from the quarter, Latin quarter. That's about equivalent to a buck and a quarter in our money.
American king returns. Welcome home, son of Taru, king of Namidi. It is good to see you, Mao. We were saddened by the news of your brother's death. With your help, the work he began will be done. In your absence, I have selected your brother. Right to rule, you meet him. Right. My thanks, Rada. These are my very best friends, Tech Shani and Jimmy Purcell. Rada, my cousin, whose father was a great chief. We grew up together. But I chose to stay with my people. I must see the king. What is it, blind man? I have a gift for the king. The image of your father and his father before him eat the Artur. Your father was a kind and wise man, people. In his memory, I bring you a gift. What is your name? A ruler of the village of Taone. It's a minor bird, isn't it? But a very unusual one. Do not let him out of the cage, or he will return to me. Then he's your friend. Please keep him. No, no. It is for you. Thank you. And God be with you, Aruna. <laughs> I will show you and your friends to their quarters. Wait for me in your room. You are a stupid bungler. The people's government of Asia does not tolerate mistakes. I got rid of his brother. And Tipu comes back and brings a treaty with the United States. I couldn't foresee that. I am not interested in your excuses. You guarantee to deliver Numiti to us. I will take care of Tipu. When? After the people have fallen in love with him? Tomorrow night, occupation troops of my government will land on the island. You can postpone it. The Asiatic expansion is according to a master timetable. Let me remind you, if taking Numiti means bloodshed, you will be held responsible. How beautiful and peaceful it is. I'm afraid I have forgotten many things, old friend. <laughs> it does not matter. You have come back. How? Why was my brother killed? He was bringing back a treaty for the council to approve, was he not? Yes. That is why he was killed. And now your life is in danger also. I can take care of myself. Mao, oh, the council must approve this treaty. Walk softly, my son. First, there is the coronation tonight. The chiefs will be watching you. And tomorrow the council meets. Come in. Darling. Why didn't you get rid of Tipo? But there was no time. Rami and the Americans were with him every minute. Do you realize what this means? But Tipo won't stay in Namidi. In a month he'll... You fool. This is not just a simple game of politics and intrigue. 
You know I guaranteed to deliver New Media to the People's Government of Asia. I was carrying out orders. And I tried to carry out mine. I I'll do anything you want. You'll get your chance. Tonight at the Kava ceremony, you will serve Tipo. He will have a heart attack. And make no mistake. Son of Taro, brother of Tawana, accept this symbol of your rule. May the spirit of Maya and Tarapu protect you from all harm. Chiefs and loyal friends, I thank you in the name of my father and my brother. I will try to rule you wisely and take the counsel of the elders. Urano, let there be singing and dancing. Chiefs have invited you to have kava with us. Kava? Yes. It's a ceremonial drink. I'll try anything liquid. But can I get mine straight? I like to get over there to that dance. Be careful. Kava sneaks up on you. Oh, I don't care. I got track shoes. Tanya, kava, please. Forgotten it is the custom, Tipo. What custom? It is written that the last ruler, if living, shall take the first drink of cup. But Tipo's brother is dead. But there was another ruler after his brother. You're right, Mao. First drink is yours, Radha. No. No, I was only a temporary ruler. But nevertheless. You're entitled to the first drink. <laughs> I will bring fresh kava.
you said this stuff was deadly. It is. You will excuse me? Can't move. Huh? My transmission is locked. Looks more like trouble in your differential. Mm-hmm. That's the cover. You see? The cover. I told you. See, it works from the toes up. You can't take it. It's silly. I don't feel a thing. You take a drink, huh? You hold it. flower behind your left ear. That is a sign you have found the man you love. Yes. But your dance was intended for me. Answer me. Why did you dance for me if you love another man? You don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but you were a little girl when I saw you. I have thought about you often, Sari. But there are many customs in our country which... which are not fair. You mean like wearing the flower? No, that is very romantic. I was thinking of the customs of parents binding their children to marriage. Oh, I understand. You found someone else. Oh, no. I've been away from Numiti. You don't know what I'm like. <laughs> I, I didn't expect that you would wait. Please. Sorry. Come in. Well? Mao interfered, otherwise Tipo would be dead. Excuse us. I must have more time. Perhaps you want me to wait until a council approves the treaty with the United States. They won't approve it. But I have friends among the chiefs. I can discredit Tipo. I am through waiting for you. I go now to supervise the landing of my troops. Tomorrow noon, we occupy Arango with or without the people's consent. read this treaty. My father and my brother talked to you about it. American engineers will help us to make a harbor for great ships to carry our products to the world market. This harbor could be used for warships also. If there is war, yes. Is it true that a hole must be made in the reef which circles the lagoon? A larger pass will be dynamited. We are told this will drive away the fish forever. Someone has lied to you, Tabana. These roads, this uh, landing place for airplanes, what are they to us? How long did it take you to come from your village? From sunrise to dark, but the rivers are in flood. We were forced to go way above the trail. With these new roads, you can travel from Paihari to Oranga in three hours. These roads could be used to carry American guns and soldiers, too. First, if necessary, they will carry our guns and soldiers. This is a war treaty. This is a treaty to help our country and our people. At what price? The price of our honor. The price which we'll pay if this treaty is not signed. All over the world today, small nations are standing up to be counted. This is a struggle between good and evil. Which side do you wish us to be on? I'm against it. This will give offense to our friends in the West. There is no longer a middle ground. That is appeasement. You bring back American words as well as ideas. I can speak more plainly, Rada. There are some men whose promises mean nothing. They talk peace and make war. Such men would keep Numiti weak, then conquer it. 
You'll find the chiefs do not agree. Let them vote. Hey, what, what are they doing now, Rummy? Chiefs cast vote. White bean means yes for treaty. Black, no treaty. Well, I thought they was getting ready for a bingo game. Five to five. We do not agree. But this is your right in a democracy. We shall meet again tonight and vote. I can't understand it. Half of them are against us. People, you must have Rata arrested. Because he opposed me? No. Because he tried to kill you last night? Mao. The carver. The first cup was poisoned. I don't believe this. You saw Rata drop the cup when he was forced to take it. You saw his face. Oh, you forget Mao Tanya served me. I know. Before Tanya accepted your brother, she had been spoken for by Rata. Oh, this is enough. Listen to me, my son. I will not listen to this. Move half of your men in and surround the town, Captain. Keep the others in reserve. I shall give you the signal for attack later. Yes, sir. Sari, darling. You've been acting strangely since I returned. Why? You loved Tipo's brother, didn't you? I was going to marry him. And now you like Tipo. Tipo? Tipo? Sari, darling, he means nothing to me. Are you sure? Tell me. Have you seen Rata lately? He's in the assembly hall. The council meeting just finished. Good. to explain. But Rada... Oh, now, don't argue with me. Take the things that you need and we'll go. Rada, what's happened? Foreign troops landed on Umidi last night. They'll occupy Orango at noon. I failed. Mao! My child, you're trembling. Mao, Tanya and Rata. Well, speak up, child. What is it? Foreign troops have landed in Umiti. How do you know this? I heard Rata tell Tanya in her room. Go see for quickly. Those supplies must have come on the ship with us. I got a couple of boxes of cigars in there someplace. I hey, sorry. Tanya and Rata are traitors. Foreign troops have landed in Umidi. Sorry, what are you talking Come. about? Get Tex and Rami. You stay with Jimmy. Come on. Never mind the rest. We'll get a small boat at the harbor. With luck, we can be in Moriti by midnight. It's noon. Your luck has run out. In a people's government, when one fails, one doesn't run away. I can't help you anymore. Exactly. You've lost all your value to me. Now, Borodov, no. If Borodov does not kill you, I will. You are a brave old man. If you are smart, you will live. Your people will listen to you. Spy! <laughs> Tommy got it. 
check people. Arango is surrounded. In the name of the people's government, I... Let them go, Jimmy! Oh! He was murdered. Many soldiers downstairs. More in square with machine guns. Tax is covering the door. We can't hold out here. If we can get to the jungle. Hey, the truck and jeep are outside. Good. Let's go through the garden. Okay. Come get Tex. Tex, you cover us. Sorry, you and I take the jeep. Rami, Jimmy, you take the truck. It's a toppy bird. Female bird come out every night for mating call. That's a mating call? Hmm. She can't call no prettier than that. She won't even get a date. Bed's already fixed. Good, Rami. We better all get some sleep. Yeah, hey, uh, how about stand and watch? Our jungle friends, they stand and watch. They holler if soldiers come. Uh -huh. Well, I just as soon sleep in a truck. It'll be softer on the ground. Uh -huh. Hey, Tipo, what happens tomorrow? We'll go to the nearest village. I'm sure the people will help us there. Yeah. Come on. You know, I keep asking myself, how did I get into this? You volunteered, remember? Hmm? Yeah. Just like at Camp Pendle. I raise my hand to slap a mosquito, and what happens? The lieutenant is saying, thank you, Tanks. There's not very many men that would volunteer for KP on New Year's Eve. Come on, General. Bedtime. <sighs> oh. Hey, put wiggle on your toes, will you? I ain't wiggling. You quit playing footsies. Hey, Tex, when you cut it out, I ain't playing anything. Should have got an adjoining rug. <laughs> hey! Oh, constructor! Poor <laughs> constructor. Just a grass snake. Come on down. Not tonight, Josephine. I have been for five years. Don't blame yourself. This is my land, my people. Sorry, I need them. They need you. If my brother were here, he'd know what to do. I'm not sure. You must go see all the people in the villages. They will support you. The enemy is well armed. If I ask your people to fight, many will die. Mao once told me, 
that brave men in many lands were dying for what is known as freedom. That is true. Then we must fight. The village of Pione is just a few miles down the trail. Breakfast. Yes, thank you. Oh. Hey, Junior. Uh, be my guest. <laughs> Message from Oranga. You don't mean you can understand that stuff. Listen. They tell we escaped from Oranga. Lies. They say you killed Mao. Let's go. to believe this news. Why should Tipo kill Mao? Drums say Tipo wants war treaty. Urano! People of Tayoni, there is trouble in Oranga. I come to you for help. Am I not welcome? Aruna! The son of Taro is always welcome. We heard of your trouble in Oranga. Ram said Tipu has killed Mao. That's a lie. Mao was killed by Borodov, an enemy of our people. We have only your word for this. It is the word of your king. Did the drums tell you that the foreign troops have occupied Oranga? Tipu. I believe with you that the drums speak lies. Tell us the truth. Evil men have taken control of our island. They must be driven off. People of Numidia are no longer warriors. Keep quiet. Has fear so chilled your blood that the courage of our ancestors will not flow in it? I want peace. The fear of the copa crab, which scuttles away in fright at the sound of a woman's feet. Even I, a blind man, can see this. Then help me, my people. And help yourself. Oh, well. Signal the other villagers to send fighting men here. Thank you for your loyalty, Aruna. The people will prove their courage as well as loyalty. Do we have any weapons, guns? We have a few rifles, but we're not skilled in using them. Well, I'll give them four weeks of basic training in three days. Hey, the blasting powder. Bomb. Check. Jimmy, go ahead and work out what you can. Okay. The people's government has kept you all as representatives of your people. Naturally, you will cooperate. These orders, they tell what our people must raise, how they must talk, and where they can go. How was this decided? In a people's government, the details are decided by your leader. You will sign a letter advising the United States that you don't approve of the treaty. But Tipo is... Tipo said... is a traitor and a murderer. There is a price on his head. And I warn you, if comfort or aid is given him, you'll be held responsible. I have heard of Tipo. Excuse me. Tipo is in Taiwan. 
He's gathering the people to march against you. You must send troops at once. No, that's exactly what Tifo would want, for us to go to him in the jungle. But if he has time to organize the people... Wait. If we should have the girl, Sari, then Tifo would come to us. How are you doing, Jimmy? Well, we got better than 30 bombs already. The men are ready whenever you are. The day of the attack, I will go into town first. Me too. No, Tex. You'd be recognized. Just pick out a dozen good men. We can get by the guards carrying food to the market. You'll spot the location of the machine guns? Yes. You fellows move in rest of the men here and here. Mm -hmm. Just before you rush the town, we'll take out the guns. The Reds will be watching for you. I'll have to take that chance. Hey, wait till you see my secret weapon. What's that? No, I ain't talking. Junior gave me the idea. Tipo! Tipo! Sorry's gone. She went to the river for water. I know, but I find broken water jug on trail. Maybe an animal got her. No animal track, but footprints of men. Bird off and Rada. I'm going after her. No, Tipo, it's a trap. I'm going too. Don't argue. Shouldn't go, Tipo. No. Put her under guard in her room. Tanya will watch her. And tomorrow, Tipo will come for the bait. Even my own mother wouldn't recognize me now. Never mind your mother. What about Rata and the Reds? Jimmy. We should be back in 24 hours. Rami, okay. you stay with Jimmy. Here. Ah, you, you'll get used to that by the time you get to Aranga. I have some celery, boy. Go ahead, take a whole bunch. Come on, will you? Come on, Tex. So long, Jimmy. Right. OK. Watch your step, boss. You too, stupid. I wasn't talking to you. My man may not recognize Tipo. It'll be up to you. Stay here. Don't talk to anyone. can't understand how he recognized me. I sure messed this up somehow. Say, you don't suppose old Borodoff recognized the hair? We forgot to put the berry juice on it. Oh, you're not to blame. Borodoff was waiting for us. What happens now? If we could only get a word to Jimmy. Yeah, or if we just had us wings like that old bird. Tex, the bird. The blind man said it was trying to come to him. What's the guard? Yeah. Hurry up, boy. The guard is just about to come back here. Enjoy the fresh air while you can. All of a sudden, it don't smell so fresh. Where is Sari? She's in protective custody. She served her purpose. I wanted to have you shot immediately. Unfortunately, there was some formality. 
that wouldn't stop you. The people would be happier if the chiefs agree to your execution. You think they will? Yes. Tomorrow morning. Hmm. There's a message. Here he is. Take the message. The message. They got Tipo. Rummy. Assemble the men. I'll get the jeep and a couple of guys and go on ahead. Okay, Jimmy. The murder of Mao and one of his accomplices stand before you. I ask you to order their immediate execution. First, Tipo must admit his guilt. Mao was my friend and my father's closest advisor. There is your murderer, the enemy spy, Borodov. And beside him is Rata, who betrayed our country and our people to him. You lie. When Mao opposed the treaty with the United States, you killed him. The chiefs heard you argue. Mao was trying to make me see you were a traitor, Rata. We're wasting our time. You heard the witnesses? I, for one, am not sure. We've listened to strange talk. We've taken strange orders. You object? My people are not happy. Tabuano would like to set Tipo and his accomplice free. No, but they must have a chance to prove innocence or guilt. How? We have an ancient right, the test of fire. Tabuano is a wise chief. Let the bed of burning stones be prepared. Suppose Tipo should pass the test. He won't. He shall die halfway across the stones. Kelly Orr will see to that. It's all my fault. It has happened for the best. If the chiefs turned against the Reds, we will save many lives. I know, but the fire test. I walked across the burning stones when I was a little boy. Tex, remember what I said. It's all a matter of fear. How could I possibly have cold feet at a time like this? Step squarely in the middle of the stones. Keep moving. You won't be burned. I do not trust Rada. Don't worry. Chiefs and people of the Miti, our history tells them many tests by fire. Is this not so? Before you stands Tipo, who denies that he killed Mao. If he perishes in the fire, his guilt will be proven. Is this not so? Let the test begin. did not fire the shot that killed Mao. It was the American. He must also cross the stones. Hey, that's me. Talioa will not miss twice. Come on, Peck. Come on, Peck. The American is afraid. He proves his guilt. Palms 
meet me over at the warehouse. Out of the frying pan and into this. Jimmy and some of the men must have got here. Have you seen him? I think I felt him. 50-yard dash wasn't my idea. I was stabbed south of the 38th parallel. Jimmy! You okay? Fine. How about you? Not even a scratch. You're speaking of scratches. Yeah, yeah, it was me. Yeah, but it wasn't like the one that had poison and rigs for you. Thanks, Jimmy. How many men have we got? I had three. One of them stopped the bullet. Rami's bringing the rest. <laughs> the bombs coming up and I'll keep up I uh I got a surprise for you hmm. you see these these are ordinary bombs you know neat and noisy uh, ideal for small riots and Fourth of July in Texas. Eh? <laughs> yeah, but this baby, this is my secret weapon. One will do the trick. What's in it? A mixture of TNT and kava. Kava? Yeah. Stuff as strong as that kava ought to make the A-bomb obsolete. How are we going to get it into the government house? Hey, Junior, come here, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, now look. Remember? Remember what I told you, huh? Huh? Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Now, go ahead, baby. Take it. That's it. Pick it up. Take it. I've already sent for a reserve just outside the city. He's making it, huh? Come on. Oh. Was so strong, it must have neutralized the TNT. Look! <laughs> Sorry, you stay here. I'm glad we come home. Jimmy! Tex! Bring that machine gun!
Well, that wraps it up. Let's go home. Brother was here to watch this. And my friend Rami. Maybe they are watching. 